And now, headlines from the animal kingdom. Pastoria, Ohio's Rock with a Police Dog is being called as a witness to testify against the quality of his own criminal justice degree. The dog and the local police chief, Tom McGuire, both have degrees from Concordia College and University Online in the Virgin Islands, which has been historically more prestigious than its neighboring party online criminal justice program, McGruff State. John I. Rocco, as listed on his diploma, is being called to testify as part of an onslaught of suits attacking the credentials of police chief John McGuire. McGuire, who is facing a March trial for allegations of falsification and record tampering. Attorney Gene Murray has called in Rocco the Dog to overturn the drug conviction of his client. Murray argues that Chief John McGuire was not legally employed and therefore had no authority as an officer. McGuire's attorney denies any connection to Rocco the Dog's pursuit of higher learning, though it is admirable. He assures us that Rocco's career in the Pastoria criminal justice system began before he knew John McGuire. Sources say that amidst the scandal, Rocco the dog has isolated himself and is testifying as part of the settlement to avoid hard kennel time. In other news, a near international incident between Switzerland and Liechtenstein occurred when 170 Swiss infantry soldiers, wandering lost at night, marched 1.2 miles into the Principality of Liechtenstein. The soldiers quickly realized their mistake and proceeded out of the country. Marcus Amon, Interior Ministry Spokesman for Liechtenstein, assured the press that not one of the country's 34,000 inhabitants noticed the foreign army with its assault rifles but no ammunition. Sources speculate the population was too involved in that night's episode of House, a show about an antisocial maverick doctor specializing in diagnostic medicine, doing whatever it takes to solve puzzling cases that come his way with the help of his crack team of doctors and his wits. The two countries assure that they remain on good terms. We in the press are referring to the incident as the Swiss Miss. God found a check last week at the Chase Bank in Hobart, Indiana. 21-year-old Kevin Russell learned about the Almighty's credit problems when he tried to cast a check for 50000 that was signed, King Savior, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Servant. The Chase Bank refused to honor the check because of an unpaid $25 overdraft fee from when 2004, when the Most High purchased a pack of dancing ice on his Chase card. The Lord Almighty responded that, quote, This is bullshit. I told him to deposit in my check. It's not my fault if they don't cash it till Monday. Sadly, though, God is but one in a number of deities with bad credit. For example, Zeus will never be able to rent videos of Blockbuster again due to a failure to return a copy of Love Jones he rented in 1998. And Athena has consistently missed car payments for a 1988 Honda Civic. Damn you. I'm surprised, too. In the spirit of education, Titan TV News wants to bring you all the news you need to know from around the world. Tonight, we start a new segment called Noah City. So pack your bags, because we are headed to Berlin, Germany. According to Wikipedia, which is the most reputable news source, Berlin was once the capital of the Kingdom of Prussia, now serving as the capital of Germany, and the heart of the Berlin-Brandenburg metropolitan region. The city is a hub of the continental transportation and home to some of the most prominent universities, sporting events, orchestras, and museums. Famous for its contemporary architecture, arts, and nightlife, Berlin is a must for any tourist backpacking through Europe. Berlin is also the former home of the Berlin Wall, known to the Soviets as the anti-fascist protected rampart, or the you're not so great now, are you, China, rampart. This barrier closed the border between East and West Berlin for 28 years and was dismantled in the weeks following November 9, 1989, due largely to the political efforts of the Sex Pistols. Today, its economy is based primarily on the service sector, including a diverse range of media and life science corporations, convention venues, creative industries, sex workers, and research institutes. And now, top headlines from Berlin. Three teenagers are being tried for giving an ostrich about a erectile dysfunction. The teens reportedly set off fireworks near a local farm, causing what farmer Rico Gabel is claiming was detrimental psychological stress sufficient to ruin the sex drive of one Gustav the ostrich. Prior to the accident, Gustav was known for his sexual prowess among the other ostriches and could be seen making roosters feel quite inadequate. While Gustav has since regained his sex drive, the time missed from his rigorous scheduled impregnations and fornication has been cost to the farmer Rico Gabel. The teens that found guilty may have to pay $6,450 in damages. An 18-year-old man has been arrested for serial defecation. The 18-year-old had been defecating in front of a bank's ATM and made as many as eight recorded deposits. Tellers speculate there may have been nine defecations, but one was stopped early due to insufficient funds. 
the bank caught the parsimony spoofer after installing a camera system. After viewing the tapes, an employee recognized a dumb dropper boarding a bus. He was detained and is facing charges of vandalism. A man, Sunday Pui Standoff, from his home-built box atop a 72-foot-tall pole, ended after his wife sent a topless photo of herself up the pole. While the man was protesting his jail time and demanding a new trial, his wife, a former stripper and mother of five, decided she wasted enough time of her life working on a pole. And those are the top headlines from the people who brought you Rising, Fear, and Emmanuel Kant.